This work is very fresh and contemporary and I don't think people in Australia will have ever seen anything like it before. I put on the wall, I hope, shot. There are vast possibilities in the realm of contemporary art which are not being explored in the big international survey shows but are explored here. It has brought me to see China in a different way. This is an amazing event. High time that somebody in the city has had the imagination to create a great private museum of contemporary art. Collectors are quite obsessive people. We've been collecting for a number of years all, all sorts of art. About a decade ago, my mother and I got very interested in Chinese contemporary art in particular. The art that we've seen in China has just been unlike anything we've seen anywhere else. I think because labour's cheap, materials are cheap, artists are able to have access to huge spaces in which to work. There is this sort of sudden burst of creativity and, and freedom for these artists. They seem to be able to do anything they put their minds to. The reason this art is, I think, so interesting to the West is because it is so contemporary. The skill is incredible. And also, while the context is Chinese, the ideas are universal and apply to all of us. My name's John MacDonald. I'm the art critic of the City Morning Herald. It's very, very hard to compare pieces in this collection because there are so many diverse things. It's a private collection and there are large advantages in seeing a private collection rather than an institutional collection. We've seen so many travelling shows, we've seen so many museum exhibitions, we've seen biennales, and they all tend to be rather the same, the same kind of artists, the same things. I think what people will enjoy with this is the diversity of it. Times of transition are fertile times for artists. It creates a sense of intellectual adventure. It creates the possibility for artists to do things that simply didn't exist ever before. When you have an artist like uh, Bing Yi, who we were talking to earlier, I mean, Bing Yi is an artist who is literally immersed in the Chinese classics, who is immersed in the archaeology of old China, yet is painting in a style which owes probably more to Western art than to Chinese art. And all of these things come together in this quite unique blend. So from the first showing here, we have a collection of works which a lot of people will be really surprised and delighted by. And I hope that from that point on, they'll come back and have that same experience another time. One of our major goals for this gallery is to make this collection as accessible as possible. We passionately believe that art is for everyone. We have sculpture, installation, photography, um, painting, drawing, there, there is something for everyone. We're not trying to take a stance on Chinese art and we're not trying to be definitive. We want to bring this very unique collection to the Australian public so that they can enjoy it and if we do that then we've succeeded. <laughs>